Hey plant gang, if you need a full sun annual in a tough situation, maybe celosia is one of the plants that you might want to consider. And I just want to talk about celosia species because there's a variety of different celosia out there. And a lot of them are hybrids. A lot of them have different flower forms. And my goal is that you recognize the celosia when you see it. Uh, in fact, uh, we've got this, uh, this uh, celosia here in front of me. Uh, you see these towers of kind of pinkish, vibrant highlighter pink blooms. Uh, maybe a lot of people are familiar with coxcomb celosia, ones where these this same bloom is fasciated or kind of smashed together to form the look of a coxcomb like on top of a rooster's head. Uh, that's a very popular form of this plant. Uh, there's also what they call wheat type, wheat type celosias, and that's what this looks like, this wheat type celosia, which is quite different. But they're all annuals for us. They're all uh, really plants that thrive in the full sun. Uh, in some cases in great soil though, if you grow celosia, you better be ready for that celosia to come back because for us in our zone, zone seven, celosia reseeds itself. And in some situations that's perfectly fine. In other situations it's not as desired as much. Uh, and so you may need to take uh, precautions against that. And that may include uh, making sure you cut off the bloom stalks as those seeds mature. Uh, but uh, this is a beautiful, consistently flowering uh, summer annual for the full sun garden. So here you have Celosia species. This is a small genus of ornamental plants in the amaranth family, am uh, amaranth ACE. Uh, and it's got a lot of characteristics of all these plants that we call amaranth type plants. Uh, a plant that's going to be very consistent and heavily blooming, adds a lot of color to the landscape. Bloom colors typically can be yellows, oranges, reds, pinks. The foliage colors can be a little bit different. Uh, the genus Celosia, that, that is derived from the Greek word for burned, uh, and I believe that's derived from uh, the color and the, the flame-like aspect uh, that a lot of times the bloom takes on. Uh, and so you can use that as an ID characteristic. Uh, but the foliage is uh, very tender. Uh, it will be frosted back. This is a full annual plant. Here's a landscape tip. Give this annual plenty of sunlight and a warm location and you will be rewarded with a season of bloom.